Hi. 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 So we have a new story to tell, don't we? We hope you like it. It's a short one, um, but hopefully a good one. If you like this video, you should subscribe and leave me your comment. Apparently not. Today's story happened when I was between the ages of seven and like 10, somewhere in there. Um, we lived on this street. We were actually the first house on this street that had just been developed. Um, and there were woods in our backyard, like everywhere. And across the street was a meadow. So my sister and I used to go explore the woods. We found this little um, like tree area that we called Terabithia. And we set it up and it was like our fort. And we had uh, we had designs for like every season and we would eat peanut butter and jelly down there and hang dried plants from the ceiling and stuff like that. Um, and there was this pond that was a little ways behind Terabithia. And we would pretend we were going fishing for food and we were like survivalist kids at the time in, in our house thing that we were playing. So yeah, so we would go to this pond and then across from the pond there was this little waterfall that would trickle over a bunch of different rocks. We would go to this waterfall and look at it and we would try and get across and there were these fallen uh, fallen trees that had fallen over this creek. And so where the waterfall, where the waterfall, where the waterfall was, it was pretty uh, shallow and, and, and fairly, not fairly wide, so it was easy to hop across. But as it kept going, it got deeper and deeper and the banks got higher and higher. So there was this fallen tree uh, and it was probably about six or eight feet from the bottom of the tree to the bottom, to like where the water was, water level. Um, so we would have to crawl across this tree to get to the other side. So basically we did a lot of exploring as kids, I mean, we just spent a lot of time in the woods exploring. So we would go across this tree and then you had to go through this like tunnel. It was a, a water tunnel sort of a thing with that plastic with ridges in it. So we would army crawl through this tunnel and a lot of times there'd be like water or mud in there, which was gross, but as kids you don't care. So we would go across this tunnel and then um, after you crossed the tunnel, you got to the other side and you were presented with this um, this landscape that had a bunch of little trees and the trees were planted on these like islands. They're about maybe five or six feet across with these trees growing out. And there was like island, 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 island. And in between all the islands was mud. But it wasn't like, it wasn't just any mud. I refer to it as quick mud. So it's similar to quicksand, but it's mud. You would step in the mud and it would just start taking you down slowly and you couldn't get out. Like if you tried to pull, it would suck you down farther. And so I, I can't tell you how many shoes I lost in this place. But my sister and I nicknamed this this place Island Farm. And what, what the goal was, was to try and go from the land, like the solid land where you came out from the tunnel, to try and hop from island to island to island and try and get across to the other side and back like Tarzan um, without getting without getting in the mud. And usually, like for me, I was young enough that I couldn't quite jump from one to another, so I really had to like, because and there wasn't even room to get a running start. There, there just wasn't. So I would hold onto the tree and then like leap and try and reach the other tree to pull myself up. It was almost always a close call, whereas my sister is like, leg span was a little bit longer and so she was able to are you stuck yeah um so she was able to kind of hop from from island to island but there were a couple times where i would fall in and couldn't get out and megan would have to like hold on to a tree and hold on to me and like try and pull me out and this crazy thing so one time after church um we went to Island Fun, and we were still in our Sunday clothes or something, which was ridiculous. Why did we do that? I don't know. Um, and we fell in, and like I lost one of the, one of my shoes in there. And we, after we got all the way across and back, and, and found our way back uh, home, Mom was like, "Where are your, where are your shoes? Why are you all muddy? You know." Uh, there's not really much of a story there. That's just what we did. That, that's what we did as kids. We would go, we would go exploring the woods, in the backwoods. We go exploring the backwoods and find islands and like jump around and try not to fall in the mud. And that was like the whole point in life. Was, hey, let's go to Island Fun. Hours of entertainment. Trying not to get sucked under, kids. We spent hours outside exploring the woods and climbing on the rocks and trying to get across mud puddles and waterfalls. And it was pretty great. We were the first house on the street, so we had like all that land for ourselves until people started moving in and building houses. And then slowly and slowly, like, the places we could go was cut down. So we had to ask the neighbors um, if we could still play in our tree fort. And they said that was okay, but just stay in the fort. So we pretty much lost access to 
Island Fun, the pond, and, and the waterfall, and all those places. Um, but those were some of the best years of my life. Anyway, this is a tiny story from my life. If you find another island like Island Fun, explore it. Let your kids explore it. It's a really good experience. Okay, I gotta go. If you like this video, um, subscribe as usual. I've been at 47 for a while now. I'd love to get up to 50 if you wanna help me with that. Uh, tell a friend, subscribe, leave me a comment. I gotta go because Beckett is getting into stuff. So, um, yeah, see you next Thursday.